something I haven't talked about on here needs to be addressed now because I get a lot of questions about like how often I do this, how often I do that. Um, I've been asked recently to go back through all my videos and update them and this is not like I'm not mad about it or anything. I just realized that I think I've shown what I'm about to say um, for a few years now but I think I need to explicitly say that I gave up a hair routine a while ago. There are several reasons for it. Um, we could start with the fact that once I realized that all I needed to do to maintain my natural hair was wash it a particular way and keep it hydrated, I just loose the chains of all the rules, all the BS. I think I've said that before. And I've tried other things. Now, actually, let's talk about what I've actually changed my mind about because I think that'd be really useful here. So I did a video where I talked about trying to wash my hair every like two to three weeks or something and at the time I really really didn't like it it didn't work for me and then I just got really really busy to the point where I started to wash my hair every two to three weeks because that's the time I had and I realized that what I was missing was the keeping my hair hydrated point of things right which is why I've used spray more than hair milk now to keep my hair hydrated between washing right in this style if i i wore my hair and twist if i wear it for a week or two i'm going to hydrate it with a spray right um as opposed to a hair milk that has more more oils and butters than water and i have learned how to handle my hair after those weeks so that i don't have long detangling sessions and stuff right and so i changed my mind completely about that I have not changed my mind about oils. I use them regularly and they're actually really, really useful at keeping my strands lubricated if I'm going to go over a week before washing my hair, right? I use serums, right? Still, still in the same realm of things. I have not changed my mind about cleanse, condition, coat. It is the way, right? If you do that and you do it regularly, your hair will be happy. It does not have to be a 20 step routine, but I have changed my mind about the kind of spa wash day situation. Um, I do tend to make that a moment of, of real care, right? Now, I don't want to say self-care because I find that to be more of a monetary thing, but like a moment to myself. It's actually a moment of rest. Even though I am doing my hair, um, I am pampering myself by giving my hair treatment, right? Detangling is no bother for me. And so it doesn't become burdensome doing my hair. It's like steaming my hair feels good. Taking the time to style it feels good. It's forcing me to rest. And so I changed my mind about those longer wash routines. They don't bother me anymore, like at all. I like having options in my arsenal. I don't always have time for all of that. Sometimes I just get in the shower, cleanse, condition, and style my hair, which is the coat, right? Um, so I've definitely changed my mind about that. I have not changed my mind about trimming. I really cannot underscore the importance of getting your ends trimmed when you have fine hair. Um, I, I see so many people go and get their hair blow out, blown out and they realize that their ends are really thin. And that is because they have not kept their ends up. And if you wear your hair curly all the time, you think it's not a problem, but it is because those ends are thin and they break and your hair will be breaking and you won't notice because it's curly. And so I really cannot underscore how important it is to have a regular trim cycle. If I'm trying to grow my hair and like retain the length, I trim more regularly. If I know <laughs> that I'm just going to chop it off at the end of the year or like halfway through the hair year, I'm not going to get a trim as much. That's just how I roll, knowing the density of my strands and knowing my texture right I think I have shown over the years that I have changed my mind about hair styling like I used to say like if you're gonna do wash and goes you just gotta do wash and goes right because it doesn't look good to go from a twist out to a wash and go that's actually I disagree with that now I just do whatever I am in a phase with my hair where I just wait now until it's warm to do wash and goes um, because it just serves my lifestyle better and so, like, you won't see a wash and go from me unless it's sponsored until, like, in mid to end of April, right? And I'll just do them until it gets cool here, which is, like, October, November, right? Um, I'm really loving twist outs, especially with foam. I'm loving it. Um, that's something I've changed my mind about, gel. 
But for the most part, I've pretty much left behind the gels with the really, really, really strong plasticizers. There are a few exceptions. I still love Sultanicals Frozen Drip and Grip. It's just so good. I love Eco Slay. Um, but I get, like, Eco Style was never my favorite. I don't know if I've made that clear. It's never been my favorite. I don't know the last time I used Wet Line. It, it's in a video. And I don't know the last time I used Ampro. Doesn't mean I won't use them. They're in my stash. I actually used Ampro for it to slick my hair down. And that's when I ran out of it. It's in a video, but like I really, really prefer my big hair. And I'm willing to sacrifice curl definition for that. I have loosened the chains of other people's thoughts on my hair. I'll never forget, I did a video, right? Um, sharing a wash and go. And someone literally commented as they were going and they were like, you can't just leave your hair out and wash all that hair. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> Did you watch the video? And then they commented again, um, you can't just do your hair like that and not like shape the ends. And I'm like, what? And after getting enough comments like that and ones that basically say that my curl pattern is ugly, I lose those chains. Like, I'm gonna do what I want. You don't have to like it. Only I do. Which is why I feel like I am so confident with my afro. And I just wear it whenever I want to because I really don't give a hot damn what other people think or if they feel threatened. It's a hairstyle that I really, really enjoy. And it just like when it shrinks, it looks so good. I love an afro. <laughs> I really, really do. That's something else I, I changed my mind about. When I do my afro, I don't do any kind of stretching or picking anymore. I just simply put the leave-in and the cream in and just let it air dry and like, it lives, right? How I maintain it, tend to stretch it out over time, which I do have videos sharing, um, maintaining my afro, so I'll link that. But pr still, keeping my hair hydrated is the priority. I feel like this camera's a little crooked. I just chose my giveaway winners for Patreon and YouTube memberships, so one person from each is getting a cosmology brush. I went straight to Target and bought them. So I will take these to the post office tomorrow. But you see all these products here? I used to have a wall of products. I used to display product. Uh, and I stopped doing that a while ago. One, because I realized that people consciously and subconsciously took it as I need to do this in order to have great hair, like to go through all of this product. I don't even want all of this product, okay? Brand send me product. I test out product here on YouTube, but I don't even want all this product. It is not necessary. One thing that I know to be true is that there are a ton of products out there that will work for my hair. And I can use one set of products and then move on to the next. Now, on the market, there are so many cleansers, so many conditioners. I don't have to be loyal to any brand unless I want to. There's so many stylers that work for my hair as well. It's just product no longer factors into my wash routine, like any particular product. I will not be crushed if one of these brands changes their product because there's more out there. Um, I'm not going to get on here and say, you must use this. I'm, not, I'm still not even convinced that bond builders are necessary. <laughs> um, in my routine, I'm actually pretty convinced that they're not, but I have them. And as an enthusiast, they're fun to use. And that's the energy that I keep and have kept for a while. I just have fun with product. I like switching it up. But y'all, I did a whole foam series where I tested out a bunch of foams against each other. I'm still doing that. This is my signature twist out. And on Patreon, I did a product comparison, and they haven't seen it yet, um, between the Trelux and the Pattern Beauty foam. But if I didn't compare products, I wouldn't own so many, right? I love playing with my hair because some of you judge my honesty based on how often you see the product. And I feel like that's your issue, not mine. <laughs> um, if you're around here long enough, you know my level of integrity. And the people who often approach me and are like, do you have any interest in trying this? Y'all get it. And I appreciate that, you know? I might try it. It may happen. It may not. Because the energy I'm keeping is I ain't loyal. I think one of the best things I did for myself and I shared with you all in Tip Tuesday is learn about ingredients. 
and I learned f myself, which is why I don't take any of those videos down, which is why I don't give people an easier path, because I, like, you can miss me with the clean stuff, like, now people know that that doesn't matter, um, you can miss me with, like, most product labels, I'm aware that a lot of the products are bases, they just add to, so you can miss me with that, because I've learned ingredients I know pretty much like the whole level of things are probably gonna have. Um, I know when something probably isn't gonna work the way it is purported to on my strands because I've learned ingredients. One thing I think I changed my mind about over the years that I have expressed but I really want to make it really clear is that individual ingredients do not make or break the product. It is the formulation overall and how it behaves on my hair that makes or break the product for me. So like, I remember when people discovered isopropyl alcohol was on in Cantu, which is years ago. This is when I was like, okay, first of all, I need people to do more research, but second, <laughs> it's not that serious. Like, so it's very difficult for me to do any kind of routine video because my routine changes. Like this twist out I did yesterday and I just did a twist out and I'll wash it next week or this weekend. Um, the the bef style before this, I wore my hair and twist for a week and then I did a twist out for a week because of travel. Before that, I did three weeks. Like, there is no routine, I can tell you. All I can tell you is that I cleanse, condition, coat, and I keep my hair hydrated between washing. And if you want to know how to do any of those things, I have videos that I can link in the description box below because I've shared this knowledge. You just got to figure out how to apply it to your hair. I say over and over, if you haven't tried the Naked Hair Challenge, you should because that will tell you your hair's moisture levels. No one can do that for you. I do encourage you to adopt the idea that hair is accoutrement, it's flexible, and that you really shouldn't care too deeply about it. Have fun with it, color it, cut it, blow it out. Don't do it at all. <laughs> like, do what you need to do for your life in that moment and just loose the chains of a hair routine.